Check us out on Patreon, guys, where we're giving you the entire year now for $10.08. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Over 100 videos worth of content for $10.08. $0.08 cents is just such a slap in the face. <laughs> like $0.84 cents a month, I think is what it comes out to. I haven't seen $0.84 cents in 15 years. I'm telling Ever you. since Penny Candy. <laughs> so check us out on Patreon, guys. Hope to see you there. The entire year. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's shaking, guys, man? Shout out to the free thinkers, man. Yeah, yeah. man. So this is a special video, guys. We're going to do uh, Fish Mama Dance is the name of the song. I believe it's a live version from Brooklyn. Yes. Um, don't know much about this band at all, you know? <laughs> I've, I've heard of this band before, guys. I've heard of Fish. I just don't know how, what, in what capacity, but I've just, I've heard of them before. And That's I can it. vouch for that because you knew it was spelled with a PH. I, see, I, there we go. I've heard it somewhere, don't know what, don't know if I've, uh, if it's just a name that I saw spelled on a billboard or if it's an actual song, but we will find out. Yeah. <laughs> and even if it is a song, I damn sure don't believe it's gonna be this song. So, <laughs> so Ryan had mentioned this is a very special video. It is very special. Indeed, it's gonna be a little bit different for us, uh, as you guys will see, man. So, with that being said, guys, we're gonna play a quick clip of uh, our sponsor, Unbound Merino. Uh, the owner actually loves fish, so uh, we had a really good right. conversation about fish. He shout actually, out to Dan. yeah, shout out to Dan, and he actually uh, tours with the band. So, we're gonna play a quick clip and you know, check it out and kind of hear what he has to say about it. They leave a lot of room for improvisation, and you know. The way the band is playing that night, the way the band is feeling that night, all affects what's going to happen in the show. So you hear Moma Dance at one show, the song Moma Dance, and you hear it in another show, and they're two totally different entities because of so many factors. So that's part of the fun of it. It's sort of each show's its own masterpiece. When we were in high school, we just didn't have any dough to go from show to show, you know, and we needed to see more. So when we started making art, my one business partner, he made art prints of the band and we'd sell them in the parking lot and we'd make enough money just to get to the next show. So we started learning a little bit of it. We got this entrepreneurial blood just because we wanted to go see more fish shows. And then our love for traveling, going from show to show, we, that really motivated the ethos of our brand, which is pack less, experience more. It's clothing that's made for traveling so and for traveling light. So the whole spirit that we have through fish, not just in terms of entrepreneurial spirit that got us started, but also the spirit of travel is what inspired us to want to make this because we kind of made it for ourselves. We're our own core customers. So in a weird way, fish is infused in everything we do. Fish actually is responsible for him starting his company. That's incredible. Man. That is incredible. It actually fueled his entrepreneurial spirit. And we have really no idea what we, uh, what to Walking expect into, here. yeah. <laughs> Because they do uh, bluegrass, apparently. They, they're they're folk, just so country. many different genres, this band. This band covers so many different genres. Folk, country, bluegrass, funk, blues, yeah. uh, jazz. I mean, and I have no idea. And, yeah. and apparently all the members of the band add vocals to what they do as well. So I think the foundation, for the most part, is maybe yeah. maybe on the progressive side of things. We're going to see. So let's see, man. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to see what's going on, man. Once again, big shout out to Dan, man, the sponsor of this video. Shout out to Unbound Marino. The link for uh, that information on Unbound Marino will be in the description. Check that out, guys, if you're interested in casual, smooth wear. And let's get into it, man. Fish, Mama Dance, live in Brooklyn. <laughs> It's definitely more jazz, jazz yeah. to me so far is what I'm hearing here. But he, and one thing that Dan mentioned is that this band has sold out Madison Square Garden. How many times? Yes, thirteen times, thirteen days consecutively. Thirteen days consecutive, consecutive Madison Square Garden. I believe that that's right. Retire the band's jersey in Madison Square Garden. That's crazy, dude. They don't even like play. a championship. They don't play hockey, basketball, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my point in asking the reason why that I, I thought of that is because I'm seeing this massive crowd that they're performing in front of here. And was this just them? Or was this like a, a sort of a group tour with a lot of different acts here? Because that's pretty, that is that incredibly is phenomenal, impressive. dude. 
So uh, it's interesting that a band that we rarely, we barely heard of, mm -hmm. has this type of following, man. So um, that's crazy. Let's let's uh, let's keep it going. But so far, smoothed out jazz is what I'm getting, mm -hmm. and we'll uh, we'll see what they offer here, man. And we're expecting a lot of improv as well. We read that in a wiki. They're very that's true. improvisational as well. So let's see. <laughs> He put a Reddit post. <laughs> Dan said he put up a, a post like, "This is how dedicated Dan is to, <laughs> to this band." Right when uh, we were discussing possibly doing a reaction with him to this band, he put a post up on Reddit saying, "The Lost in Vegas guy." Shout out to everybody that supports us on Reddit, by the way. Absolutely. And his post was basically saying that he's going to be working with us. We we're going to be doing a reaction uh -huh. to the band Fish, and he wanted to get maybe some some feedback from them. And then everybody on Reddit was like, "I don't know about that. Bro. I don't know if they're going like to like that." <laughs> So far, though, man, this they're jamming out. And it's so funny that you said that because I was going to ask you to pause this and, yeah. and shout out Dan and be like, you know what? So far, let me give you a shout out that so far I love the song just in case it takes a crazy detour. Thank you <laughs> and I don't and, and I'm like, ah, you know, they had me up until the five minute mark or whatever the case may be. So right now, Dan, we're, we're looking good. All, so all systems, we're, we're OK for landing right now. Let's see what they do with it. All right, let's keep it going. This fight, it could be improvisation. And jam band uh, is appropriate so far. Yeah, yeah I can jam out. crowd is like and you know what and i hate to say this they're in a fish trance that's yeah <laughs> that's, they're gonna say some shit like that in the comments we're in a fish trance for your information Ryan. if i was at this concert i'd be turning up right now i know that this a, a turn up term is used for like things that's like like super intense and super loud and and obviously this is more subdued but dude jazz and blues that those type of uh chords to black people is like crack. That shit is just like that's you know. It. <laughs> that's that the groove is just incredible, and 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 I'm like surprised that the crowd is not like, whoa, this yeah. is just because this 
they are really playing at a high level. And let me mention the drummer here for a second, because I think the drummer could be overlooked because it doesn't look like he, you know, he, but he, he's, he's not doing a lot of movement, but he actually is cool with it. And that symbol work is nice. He's slick. It's just not a Kango in sight though, man. I'm not saying, <laughs> yeah. I don't see one Kango, you know, I don't know what that for, those, is for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Kango's like an old school. It's a hat. Y'all know what Kangos are. Samuel, think Samuel L. Jackson when you think of a Kango. LL Cool J back in the day. LL Cool J. But definitely Samuel L. though. He, yeah. He's iconic with the Kango. Yeah. Uh -huh. say, you know, backwards hat. But a lot, you know, old school people where, where we're from, you know, yeah. that listen to jazz and yep. blues, man. You see a lot of Kangos at places like this, man. So uh, they're, they're killing it, man. Yeah, let's, man. let's keep it going. the last member of the band that I thought was going to start hitting the vocals, man. We ain't going to stop too long, but that's what me and Ryan yeah, were yeah. I was like, the drummer? Okay. I, I didn't, he just didn't look like he... They put spotlight on him and everything. Yeah, he don't look like he even wants to be seen. Yeah. Just, just go ahead, y'all. Let's get back to <laughs> Here we go, Dan. Here it is. Here it is, man. Yeah. But Dan, you know, Dan, Dan, let us know, you know, where, where some of the, uh, you know, where the potholes are going to be. What, what he thought the potholes would be of what we wouldn't like about the band, or and, he, and he I, mentioned the vocals and everything, is where, which is where we're going here. I just, I, you know, I, just hire a vocalist, man. You know what yes. I'm saying? Just, just get somebody in here that's got, you know. They don't need to do shit, but just sing the shit. There the you groove go. Out. There you go. Because uh, I will say the groove, I love the, the sing, the vocals. Yes, and I gotta, you know, shout out to Dan because he really told us that that would be something that we that would probably be something that we'd be on the fence about. Musically though, I'm loving the groove though, man. I'm loving the groove, and it sounds so good, man. Endless. So they, they can, they keep can that, play that all day. They can keep, yeah. There you go. I was about to say they took the words out of my mouth. Let's keep and it for us. Fourteen <laughs> minutes is all day. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying <laughs> they can play that all day. Let's get back to it though, man. You know, overall, mm -hmm. we rocking, but we got to keep it real. Vocals a little shaky thus far. <laughs> <laughs>
Because it, it goes with the group. You know what I'm saying? It's not such a departure that you can you focus on. Take it sail, mind the skipper, will not fail. He'll bring out wine and we'll be fine. Just hear the order, watch the sail. Up the rigging, take it sail, mind the skipper, will not fail. He'll bring out wine and we'll be fine. Just hear the order, watch the sail. The swagger of this band, man, because they know they can't sing. They know this. They know they just are not vocalists at all. But they just know that the music um, stands on its own. It does, yeah. And that's and I, obviously that's why people love this band. It's yeah. just what they can do creatively and improvisationally and all these yep. things. Mm -hmm. That's that's the draw of this band. But man, they are they are very confident <laughs> in their musicianship, boy, to be singing like that. You know, I, I think before you go ahead, Ryan, because I want to, because I know you about to come in on something too, man. Well, I don't. I I challenge someone. I challenge someone who is a vocalist, a singer, to um to get a uh, maybe a backing track or a song where it's just all instrumental and add your own little vocal, your own little layer. vocal layer onto yeah. that as well. Mm -hmm. I would be curious to see people using fish tracks in the studio and just adding some vocals on it, man, just to show you know, just to show what could, what could be, what could be for people who yeah. aren't diehard fans of fish and. You know, obviously they, they don't need to do shit. Fish is very accomplished yep. and very successful. But I, I just think, man, the vocals are, are such a distraction to me right now. It's kind of, it took me out of that initial excellent groove. And I'm just, especially this, oh, that, that the, the, the drum That's is bad. hitting. That is bad. It is, yeah. It's taking me out of um, the groove, even though I know some really dope things are still happening. I would just be curious if they had somebody that, you know, was just a real supreme vocalists come in man and just you know i just like to see how that would sound that's all okay i'm done no no i hear you though man and, that, and that's a good point man but to me i don't know if you guys heard us over the music to me when they're harmonizing they're all singing together it's not as um blaring to me you know it's kind of like if you went to a church and not everyone is the greatest singer but they sing together it kind of it it, it kind of works you know it kind of makes it sound a little better you know from a vocal standpoint but when they sing by themselves, where there's no no one else kind of harmonizing with them, I really think it it well it does right that it puts your voice center stage, yeah. in a good way or in a bad way. And right here, when he's singing and and holding that note, it's just yeah, it just doesn't sound good to me. So I I do have to agree with you on that. You know what I mean? I, so, and you mentioned that that confidence. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to be confident. MF to do that. And that's just a big deal. You know what I'm it saying? It is, man. But let's see if they get out of the the uh, the vocals a little bit and get back into focusing on just the groove without yeah. the vocals for a little while because that's kind of what I'm, I'm hoping. I would love an instrumental. Yes. Seriously. Uh, an instrumental, instrumental I can rock. They, they, yeah, I'd be like, yeah. I can rock. <laughs> Hey, 
situation right here, right? It's gotta be, right? You would think. It seems to be another section coming up here. Uh -huh. right? It seems like they're kind of transitioning into, into something, a, yeah. something else. I'm kind of um, excited to see what that is. But if I'm a betting man, I would I would say I would venture to say that that last section is is what fish fans love about fish. Just mm -hmm. it seemed like it was very. Ryan mentioned this as well. It seemed like it was a lot of improvising going yeah. on there, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's been improvising throughout the entire performance to some degree. But they really seem to just. Go all the way in in that in that previous section before yeah. the sort of quiet, subdued section that they're getting into. Uh, the lead guitarist was going absolutely yeah, he was man crazy Jeez, from from a musician, man. just a musical, skillful uh, perspective. He was destroying it. Everybody was, has been yep. playing very well. The drummer, everyone, the bass, I mean, everyone has been on point. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not so sure that was my favorite part, but I but I would I just want to point out that I think Fish fans, that's probably what you guys love about the band. It started to lose me a little bit, even though I recognized the skill. So that's why I wanted to point, right, out. Right, right, I wanted I got point out that the uh -huh. guitars and everybody were, yep. were really playing at a very high level. And if that was all improv right there, or if, if, or if a big portion of that was improv, I'm extremely impressed. Yeah. You know, um, if it wasn't improv, then it's, then it's, it's not something that I, that I really uh, can really have much appreciation for. Just because musically it didn't do anything for me. It just, it just felt um, 
Uh, it was a lot going on, and it was it was just wasn't really a a a signature groove in there. It just seemed like I that was kind of getting lost, and everyone just playing and doing their own thing. Even though I do feel like for what it was, if that was all improv, um, there was still enough separation in the instrumentation for me to kind of recognize that these yeah. dudes are still. Um, creating, playing at a high level. Playing at a high level. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it, it wasn't my favorite part. I like the, the the initial uh the the beginning of the video when I can actually capture or catch um you know yeah. that groove. Yeah, you know I got what I'm you. saying? So right in there they got a little crazy, and I'm sure that, that was very uh impressive and amazing because I saw the, the fans jumping yeah, up. They were, they were, that, they were that's like, the, ah! that was the response I was waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like bound and out. That now that yes, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you for going back to that. That shit was nasty. When they got it to that... Yeah, that shit was that. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Like, Fish fans probably enjoyed that part, and I appreciated that if it was improv. Mm -hmm. But musically, lost me a little bit. Wasn't really feeling it too much, but I can recognize that they were all playing yeah. at a high level. So there's yeah. kind of a lot of... It was like some nuance in that, but yeah, I get it. I don't know, George. If I was a betting man, I would say they were improv improvising their ass off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were just sitting there just jamming out, you know, jam band type thing, you know? Right. Um, but, you know, uh, one thing that Dan said when we spoke to him, he said that you may hear a Fish song a few different times. Yeah. Or maybe they may do, you may not hear the same song in the same tour set. You know, if they're touring, I don't know, um, you know, for a month straight or whatever case, maybe you may not hear that song. But when you go back to him, you'll hear the same song, Mamba Dance. But it... It's done in a unique, different way. But one thing I want to say, because I know this is kind of a long pause, um, I loved the way the uh, lead guitarist was just feeling the music. Regardless, I mean, because I hear what you're saying. It was a little like, ah, okay, it wasn't, it's not something that you're jamming out to. It was more so an appreciation. Yep. You know just, just, just the difference yeah. between appreciating it, because I wanted to kind of distinguish the difference between appreciating it, but not necessarily liking it. Right, right, Because right. you have to appreciate what they're what they're yeah. able to do, man. And um, and I think that they seem to be getting into a more quiet, subdued section here. So let's let's get back to it. Yeah, but, man. Uh, very impressive, highly skilled stuff, guys. So let's let's just we want to be clear on that. I really like this transition. Yeah, dude. Because I feel like there is there is a purpose for it. It's not just so on the spot and showcasing musicianship and skill and being able to play together while right, doing right, so. Right. There's there's an actual there's an actual section that yeah. that has purpose is what mm -hmm. it sounds like because it has this sort of subdued. I don't know if it's like a fucking uh, alien ship fucking whoa, launching whoa, off whoa, or something. Whoa, 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 <laughs> I don't whoa, even know how whoa. to distinguish this section really musically. I don't yeah. even know what kind of. You know, not that I know some people hate categorizing music, but I don't know. I don't know what category of music this would even fall into. Fall into. It's just yeah. a very interesting sound. It's like a psychedelic. It's almost got like a tool feel to it, doesn't it? 
A little like, bit, like, cause yeah. Because Tool has their own thing going little on. Thing. Not that it sounds like Tool. So maybe, maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but they, I get what you're Tool saying. has their own signature, right? Right. So maybe this is something that uh, another piece or another layer of fish as well that is kind of like infused in their DNA. That yes. they do creative things musically with the way the instrumentation sounds. Because I don't even know if that's a, the keyboardist. I would assume it's probably the keyboardist. Keyboardist making, making that woom, woom, woom. But the... But the that the boom, 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 that's hot. Boom, boom. I, I don't know if that's Quack. the keyboard too. I don't know, but but it but it's interesting and it's cool. You know, yeah, it sounds is. like the cadence from the Predator though. Remember when, the, pre- shit, yeah. when the Predator was seeing like um <laughs> um what is that called um your heat signature? Right. You know right. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I it's almost that. like that they took some kind of like cadence it's, like it's that. It's got a futuristic and, tra- yeah. and transformed it. Yeah. Right. You know, it's interesting. Dan Dan had mentioned. Shout out to Dan again. Dan had mentioned. Yeah, um, you know that fish sort of has their own signature sound. They go different directions. They pull from different genres, but they do have a a signature core sound in within all of them. Right, 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 right. So I'm not sure if things like this would be something that is just typical of fish. But this is a very unique section, and I just like it. as opposed to the other section. I like how it seems to have purpose, and everyone's playing their role it seems like yeah. a, a role you know what i'm saying as opposed to just going off like the the keyboardist has yeah. this sort of repeating vibrating whatever that is yep a plasma what did you say a plasma gun or some shit right said under his breath like whatever <laughs> sound wave plasma gun type thing yeah. and then the bass is the bum, 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 yeah. bum, 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 and know? the way that they gradually slowed down into the transition was, was beautiful yep i love that man you yep. know the, the the gradual slow down yep but they still were playing. That was pretty cool, man. Yeah, too. That's pretty cool to see. <laughs> All right, let's uh, finish it up, guys. So that's probably exactly what it was. I don't know if you guys heard us um, yeah, over the music. I think I, I, I was saying that they sound like they were transitioning into another song, you know, because George said, is this even Mamba Dance anymore? And I was like, they're probably transitioning into another song. Yeah, that was a weird stop. And the way that stopped abruptly like that, it was probably <laughs> going into another song because it's a live concert recording of a okay. live concert. So 
That's what I would assume. So that's what we got. So sorry for the abrupt stop there, but okay. what'd you think, man? What'd you think, bro? My thoughts going into this was that this band was gonna be like very talented musically. I mean, based off of kind of looking at some stuff in the wiki and what Dan was talking about, um, you don't amass this type of following, uh, especially if it's sort of a, uh, it's weird. It's, I don't know what to call it. Kind of a cult-like, but still very popular, you know, underground-ish niche. niche following. Yeah. You don't do that without being skilled or great at what you do. Yeah. You know, so they, they are great musicians. Um, I just think that the, the vocals, the vocals, yeah. I, I guess what we do now with these videos, guys, man, is we, we're looking for songs that um, we would like. We would like to run into music that we can just play. You know what I mean? Like that will we can add to our rotation and, and and it can sort of be the soundtrack to our lives and enrich our lives. <laughs> and what I got out of this was a very talented band, incredible. Like maybe we need to do more improv bands, bands that just more jam bands yeah. to really have like some sort of like comparison. You mm -hmm. know, I hate to compare, but just to, a have, reference point. to have like a benchmark yeah, yeah, on what you. to compare it to. But it seemed like they were doing some pretty amazing things from an improv standpoint, while still giving you, at least with this song, I, I don't know what Fish, if this is sort of typical of Fish's sound, sound, but at least with this song, it felt like they were giving you some really smooth grooves yeah. too. So it's kind of like a jazz, funk, mm -hmm. uh, heard some blues in here, uh, maybe a little bit of progressive in here as well, some, some progressive rock, all wrapped into one with, um, with some really dope improv stuff. So I think that this is a talented band, man. I thought everybody in this band was, was supremely skilled. I just think the vocals, man, are tough for me. Yeah, I hear you. The, uh, the vocals are going to be I tough for me to, in the length. The length of these songs um, is just, for me, it's just at this stage, man. It's, it's tough for me to, and if you're going to have a four, uh, the 19 minute song or 14 minutes, I guess, 14 minute song, uh, almost 15, 15 minute song, that thing better have me like locked in. Like, I, I, you know, listen, there's only been a handful of bands throughout history for me that have uh, uh, kept my attention for 15 minutes. Yeah, there's only a few things in the world I could do for 15 minutes. Man, yeah. One of them re re revolves being in the bedroom. Right. I could do that. One of those is inappropriate for this video. And the but other... uh, outside of that, yeah. I don't know how many things I could do 15 minutes straight. I don't even want to work out 15 minutes straight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you're going to take, gonna take a 30, 45 second. Yeah. <laughs> The talented band, great musicians, um, pretty much what I thought. I mean, I, I was, I'm actually surprised that you guys thought that we would look at this band and say hell no to. Like, clearly. Well, that's just this song, though. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. So, that's you know, true. We, that's we, true. We, 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 <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe other songs, maybe they get weird, because Dan did mention that they get weird and, and, and crazy, too. So I, I didn't hear too much that I thought was really that weird. Yeah, like from left field and shit. Two left field. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. you know, cool, cool, <laughs> uh, cool, smooth jam, uh, jam band that's got that, that and from an improv standpoint are excellent. And um, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind hearing a, something shorter from these guys without the vocals. Okay. Now, so not playlist, but maybe, maybe a live concert may uh, change my mind because this is a live video. So not, not an actual concert. That's exactly where I was going, man. I would like to see these guys live. This, this introduction really made me want to, um, it just intrigued me a lot. And I'm like, you know what? I think I would really like to uh, to see them. And I think Dan said they're going to be here in October, I believe, in Vegas. MGM, so, at the MGM. Yeah, so maybe we'll check that out, man. Because um, outside of the vocals, if because I said this earlier, guys. If this was a, a instrumental, I enjoyed it all the way through. Even the time where it was a little, you know, solo. Everyone was kind of like doing their own thing and showing their musicianship. I still enjoyed that. If I was, if this was a live performance and we were there and yeah. I had a drink in my hand, I would have really enjoyed this that. all the way through outside of the vocals. But even if I, you know, if I had a couple of drinks, the vocals probably wouldn't kill me that much because I, you know, I have a little buzz on. So I'd be like, right, hey, right, yeah, right. you know, I, I can't sing either. Go ahead, dude. You know, I'll be singing so, together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to reserve judgment, which, which is what Dan said. Yeah. Until I see them live, because I, I, th this is a, at least piqued my interest enough to check them out live. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. I think that would be a good fun time because the blues and the um and the and the uh, musicianship and just the jazzy elements that they have that alone will keep me rocking through the whole concert i'm not opposed to seeing them live you know what i'm, I'm saying? not opposed <laughs> you know so maybe maybe that's something we'll, we'll look into man yeah, you know what i mean come uh, october so so shout out to dan man from unbound marino and the whole unbound marino family Salute. yeah that man. wasn't too bad that was a good pick man you know that wasn't if, we're too bad, if, if you man. don't pick a sponsored video this was a good one. Yeah. This was a good one, man. You See, know what Dan, I'm saying? You know, Dan, Dan tried to play I, it off. Like, I don't, you, you guys, you know, I don't think, you know, like, it's not a big deal. Yeah, Dan was like, yeah, I, 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 I hope they like it, though. No, but shout out to them, man, the whole Unbound Marino crew, man. I really enjoyed that, man. 
this is a new format with us, man. Uh, you know, with the sponsorship and doing the video at the front, we thought that this would be cool. And then we didn't want to be corny and just just do the whole, uh, you know, we're gonna just read, read from a, read script, a script, script type thing. Hold on, hold on, George. Let me read. Yeah. Unbound Marino sponsored this video. No, I'm just... Cool athletic wear. <laughs> no, I just thought it'd be a cool thing. So, anyways, yeah. man. Hey, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel if you're interested. It will allow you to get exclusive access to our uh, content. And once again, our sponsor, uh, Unbound Marino. Their information is in the description as well. I'm George. That's Ryan Lost to Vegas. We out. We out.